What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Acadia National Park, one of my favorite national parks on the East Coast. And check out that backdrop behind me. Isn't it gorgeous? Man, I love this spot. This is Monument Cove, and I photographed a lot of pictures down there where those boulders are. But today we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna show you guys another spot that I plan on photographing, so let's take a walk. So here's the composition for tonight of Monument Cove with a nice south face and Milky Way. I just checked uh, photo pills and everything seems to line up. I do have the moon coming out as well, but it should be setting uh, somewhere to the right over there behind those trees, right when the Milky Way is in the perfect alignment. So I'm not too worried about that. And worst case scenario, I have tons of tracked Milky Way shots from Acadia. So if I had to do a composite, that's also another option. For tomorrow night, I'm gonna go to Bass Harbor Lighthouse and I wanna stay out a lot longer and have a nice southwest face to Milky Way with the lighthouse. And again, I think it's supposed to be clear that night as well. So I'm really lucking out uh, tonight and tomorrow night with two clear skies in a row. So we're gonna make the most of it on this two night trip. And yeah, I think I'm gonna put a long sleeve shirt on because I'm starting to get bit by some mosquitoes here. And uh, I also have to set up my cameras and I'll show you guys what I'm working with tonight. All right, so I got the camera set up and I threw on this long sleeve shirt to help kind of protect me from the mosquitoes. I forgot to grab some bug spray, so I might have to run back and get that. But I also brought a portable fan, which will kind of help blow away the mosquitoes because these ones right here are kind of slow and sluggish. So I feel like if I bring my portable fan right here, it's enough power to kind of keep them at bay. But moving on, we have my Nikon Z7 with the 14 to 24 2.8 S lens. And this is the composition that I'm sticking with all night. So I have it set up, ready to go. Sunsets at 7.30, which is about 10 minutes. And it's gonna be a really nice uh, sunset, I think, because I got these clouds right here, which will hopefully get nice and colorful. And right above it is a quarter moon, and that should all look really awesome in this shot. So I'm really excited for that. And then as the night progresses, hopefully these clouds clear out and then we'll have our Milky Way ready to go. And I'll do a stacked group of shots that I'll blend back in with my foreground shots that I take during astronomical twilight. And then right here we have my Nikon DA10 with the Sigma 15 millimeter fisheye lens. It's an old lens, but it does a pretty decent job. I think down the road though, I might pick up the 14 millimeter Sigma 1.8 just so I get a more light and it'll be better for doing these night time lapses. But right now it, it works pretty good. And because it's a fisheye lens, I'm able to get a lot of the foreground as well as the sky. So um, hopefully that comes out pretty cool. I'm gonna wrap this up and I'll talk to you guys in the morning because this is about to start lighting up pretty soon. So I wanna get some shots in and I need to run back to the car and get uh, some bug spray. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everybody. Today is day two in Acadia National Park and uh, last night was amazing. I was actually getting a little nervous because it seemed like more clouds started to pick up after sunset at, even though the weather report said that it was supposed to be clear but ultimately they eventually cleared up around like 9 45 ish so everything worked out because the Milky Way was in the prime spot by 10 30. It was a little bit brighter than I was hoping for but I think the blend is still going to work out quite nicely. Uh, what also helped me last night, I brought this Ryobi fan right here. Um, I have a bunch of Ryobi products and batteries, so it made sense to get this as a backup fan or an additional fan to this one right here. This, this is a good little fan that I usually bring on my road trips to kind of circulate the air in my van when I'm car camping, but it's not the most powerful fan and um, I wanted something that had a little bit more power, like this Ryobi. That way, certain places I could bring it with me, like I did last night. This really helped to keep the mosquitoes off of me. And I'm still on the original battery that I was using last night, so it's lasting pretty long compared to this fan right here, which runs off of C batteries. So I'm really excited to add this to my uh, camping adventures because it's working out really well. So 
just a tip for you guys if you can bring a fan with you if you're not like backcountry camping um, pick up you know something a little more powerful and it really helps with the bugs and insects and keeps them off of you now for today's agenda i plan on testing out this lens that was sent to me by zhang yi optics hopefully i'm pronouncing their name right uh, this is a 135 f 2.5 lens it is manual focus so that should be interesting but um, I plan on doing some landscape shots with it and then when I get home I'll probably take some portraits as well and have the review out sometime next week but uh, so it feels like a pretty robust lens and we'll see how it does and then later tonight I'm gonna head down to Bass Harbor Lighthouse and get a southwest facing uh, Milky Way and Lighthouse unfortunately I have to stay out pretty late for that one probably around like 2 or 3 in the morning is when it's gonna be in the prime spot and then I have to drive home early tomorrow morning so that's gonna be fun but next time you guys see me it's gonna be at Bass Harbor Lighthouse It is crazy right now. The crowd's starting to thin out finally. I have my camera set up. Take a look at that. So I'm up a little bit higher than I normally go. Typically I shoot down there on those rocks, but since we're going for the Milky Way, I want to do a time lapse. So I'm shooting with the Z6 and my 14 to 24 at 14. And I'm able to capture a sliver of the lighthouse right here. And then the Milky Way is gonna be over in this area. And the moon should be setting around 11 o'clock tonight. And then with my Z7, I have the 20 millimeter lens on there. I'm just gonna do a really short panorama just um, a shot from this direction and then a 15 degree increment shot in that direction and that way I could get the Milky Way and the lighthouse in that short panorama. I'm leaving it in landscape mode and it's just going to make life so much easier when I go to stitch and then blend it with the Milky Way because I plan on doing a twilight panorama and then a Milky Way panorama and then blending those two and I can show you guys with a tutorial how to do that.